Hi everyone. I read about this in a book called Decorator's Problem Solver by Sasha Cohen, and finally got a chance to test today. Do you know that textures can be very different with the same brush but different ways of applying paint? And I would love to share with you what I found out today. Type one: flat coat of paint. I followed three steps of Cohen's to create a solid, flat finish, and to minimize the brush marks. Step one: dip the bristles of the paint brush into the paint. Scrape off one side of the brush on the side of the can, and paint two thick. Vertical stripes on the wall, approximately two feet long and six inches apart. This should transfer most of the paint on the brush onto the wall. Step two: immediately brush across the stripes, working from side to side, spreading the paint out across the wall. Step three: working quickly. Brush lightly over the painted area using even vertical strokes. This is known as laying off, and it ensures that any visible brush marks are running in the same direction down the wall. Using this technique, a brush load of paint can cover an area approximately of two feet by one foot. Work across and down the wall. Painting adjacent areas and then brushing them together. On most occasions, you will need two coats of paint. Type two, mottled coat of paint. If you're less patient, using this technique, you can create a soft mottled finish with only one coat of paint. Step one, dip the paint brush into the paint. Scrape off one side of the brush on the side of the can. And brush dabs of paint onto the wall. Spread the dabs across an area approximately two feet square, transferring most of the paint on the brush onto the wall. Step two: twisting the angle of the paint brush with every stroke. Spread out the dabs of paint until they join up. The different angles of brush strokes. And the very intensity of the paint color will create the soft, mottled effect desired. If you like DIY, I hope this will be useful to you. More later.